Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. So today's video is gonna be like a two in one video. I have some clippings here. I have a drawstring ponytail here and they're both from Eon Hair. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes and direct links down below in the description box. First up is the drawstring ponytail. This is 140 grams. This is 26 inches in length and the texture is kinky curly in a natural hair color. I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, when I first took this out of the package, I was like, wait a minute, I ordered 26 inches. This is about 10 inches. I did have to co-wash this ponytail in order for the hair to elongate. And I got two sets of clip-ins. They're 20 inches in the texture Afro kinky curly. In each set, there are seven pieces of clip-ins. There are four wefts with two clip combs, two wefts with three clip combs, and one weft with four clip combs. Clip-ins are really easy to install by yourself. You would basically just press the back of the weft and that pops out that comb. Once that comb is raked into your hair, you would press it again against your scalp and that secures and locks it into your hair. So we're gonna be installing the clip-ins first. I'll be grabbing some gel, my detangling comb, and this Denman brush that I got that is specifically used for tightly coiled and textured hair. There is a small amount of my hair out in the front and the back is cornrowed. I have two large cornrows, please excuse how they look, but I wanted to make sure that my hair is separate from the clip-ins in the back and only worry about making sure that the front is blending in. I'm just gonna grab a clip-in, I'm gonna measure my head, and then if it is a perfect match or a perfect fit, I am gonna secure it into my hair. And I will be using all of the wefts from both of the sets. So if you are thinking about getting clip-ins, there are a couple of variables to keep in mind. It depends on what style you're going for, how thick or full you want your hair to be, how long your hair is, if you are wearing your hair out in between each row of clip-ins, or if you're doing what I did and not wearing any of your hair out or having any leave out out in the back, I always think that you're safer with two sets of clip-ins. <laughs> Now that all of the clip-ins are installed, it is now time to style the hair. I'll be doing a twist out with perm rods at the ends. So now that I'm at the top of my head, I'm just gonna spray my natural hair with water, apply some gel, and then begin to twist my hair and the clip-ins together. At the ends of it, I'm just gonna use that perm rod, and then I'm gonna do some baby hairs, put my head scarf on, and allow this hair to air dry overnight. So the hair is about 90% dry. It is the next morning and it's now time for me to unloosen these twists and to remove these perm rods. What do you think about the blend? Comment down below in the comment section. I did want a little bit more elevation in body, so I am gonna grab my pick and just pick out the roots just to make sure that this hair is a bit bigger.
All right, so now it's time for me to remove these clippings so that we could try on this drawstring ponytail. It's super simple just to unloosen that comb and clip and remove the clippings. So this is the night before. I did co-wash the drawstring ponytail and here is the natural texture of that. I'm just going to wet it again, apply some gel, use my detangling comb to detangle it and my Denman brush to get these curls to pop and allow it to air dry overnight. I did just wet my hair, use some gel, put it in a ponytail and I allowed it to air dry for about an hour. Now I'm just going to braid this ponytail and put it into a bun. Grabbing that drawstring ponytail, I'm just gonna use the two combs that is on the drawstring ponytail and rake those two combs into my hair, pull that drawstring, tighten the drawstring and wrap that drawstring around and around and around and around that ponytail and my bun. When I get to the end of that string, I'm just gonna use a bobby pin to secure it. And here is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes, and direct links to the drawstring ponytail as well as the clip-ins both from Eon Hair. I'll have all of that information down below in the description box. Do you like the drawstring ponytail or the clip-ins better? I feel like the drawstring ponytail was way faster to apply, obviously, because it's just two combs and you're ready to go. That's always great to have on hand. And I feel like the clip-ins have their time as well because you can do way more hairstyles with clip-ins, of course. Both of them are must-haves if you are a natural girl. Both of them are just lifesavers when you want to switch up your look but I am obsessed with the final look. I'm just really, really, really loving this ponytail right now. I think it looks perfect. My hair is not 100% dry, so it's not like popping. My waves aren't popping as it could be. So I feel like my hair is a little bit straighter than the drawstring ponytail, but either way, I still think it looks good. I still love it. If this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below so that I know you stopped by. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for rocking with me. Don't forget to leave your comment down below so that I know you stopped by and so we could chat, girl. Let's chat down below in the comments. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. It's Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. I... Ay, ay, ay.